Hey everyone, and welcome back to my blind playthrough of The Outer Worlds. In the last episode, we took a key off of a dead guy to turn on a relay satellite for the Groundbreaker. We're gonna go ahead and actually do that and take care of that, and then afterwards, I have a really, really cool episode in store for you. We'll be stumbling across a potentially new crewmate, and we'll be exploring a completely new area with new terrain, new creatures. It'll be really interesting, so I can't wait to show you. So sorry for the lack of an episode yesterday. I have been so sick lately and I cannot seem to catch a break. But I feel a lot better today, so I was able to get this episode out to you today. And hopefully by next weekend, I'll be back to my normal self and we'll be back to our regularly scheduled videos. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into this episode. Okay, so, right, the relay transmitter, that's all we have to do, I think, right? Continue. Okay. Uh, transfer to physical storage device. Okay. Okay, cool. That's, uh, I think all we had left to do in here. I'm pretty sure we did everything else. Pretty fucking sure. Let me just make sure real quick with my journal. Yeah, return to the Groundbreaker. All right, uh, what else do we want to do before we go to the Groundbreaker, though? We have two things to do in Roseway. We have the distress signal and we have, oh, is it the same one? Investigate distress call? No, it's not, it's, they're different things, okay. But yeah, they're the same place, so should we, maybe we'll go to the Roseway next and knock out two birds with one stone. Maybe that's where Jack Ingoff will go next. Huh? Oh, I am alert and awake. Not to worry, I take our ship's security highly seriously. Let's see. Hello? There's no response from the auto mechanical unit. A serial number etched in its chasis includes the letters SAM. Is this something we can activate? Did I see something? Yeah, the cleaning machine. Ask Ada about the SAM unit. Yeah, we'll have to do that. We'll have to do that. We might be able to, that it's a companion quest, so it might actually be a companion that we can recruit. We can have a goddamn robot, my very own robot. That'd be fucking awesome. Did I steal all the things? Oh, look at this. First wrench dad ever gave me. She's been a friend ever since. Parvati. Oh, I don't know. The name's Abigail. This is this is Parvati's room. Oh, and that's her dad. Oh my god. I gotta say, I love Parvati. I love Parvati. Like the character is just so adorable. So cool. Like, I don't even give a fuck about my other companions. Just Parvati. <laughs> Just Parvati. All right, anyway, yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to the Ada, right? Ow, that oof. Oof, that's not good. I need to stop doing that shit. All right, let's talk to Ada about the machine. Welcome back, Captain. Hello. How can I be of assistance? Uh, let's see. Know anything about the auto mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Go to check the terminal. All right. Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Search term Sam. First Sam result. Do not forget, you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical in Emerald Vale's scrap heap during your last job. It should not be too difficult to get it up and running with a few key modifications. I can envision a combat-capable variant. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. 
Should be fun. Wow, you need to be put to death just for that pun. That was horrible. That was horrible. Removal of factory standard part suds steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modified replacement part acid steeper was delayed. Progress set back in is estimated to now be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to. Ah, but I do. I've given up hope on the delivery. The part is lost in transit and is not turning up anytime soon. All right, we need to find an acid steeper. But good news. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an acid steeper. I can, er, filch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway, which we were going to next anyway. So that, that, that works. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up uh, following the uh, this next pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. Oh, and then we killed him. <laughs> and then he died. -ed. Oops, feels bad, man. Well, that happens, right? It fucking happens. All right. Um. What do, chat? What do? Let's go turn in this quest. Let's go back to the Groundbreaker. We're going to turn in the quest, and then I guess we're going to go to Roseway, because we have a few a few objectives there now. So let's go back to the Groundbreaker. Oops. Yeah. Whee! The Groundbreaker has approved <laughs> our request for docking, Captain. You're I don't, to disembark. I don't know why that amused me so much, but it did. Yeah, I'm going to take the ladies with me. Uh, so silent voices. Edna, that's right. We're taking it back to Edna. So in that case, we need to go back here. This is My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Yeah, except for all the blood and guts everywhere. Here's your data backup. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief June Lei. <clears throat> Try not to spend it all in one place. Apparently we still have something to do over here. Yeah, let's go talk to What's-Her-Face, right? Must have updated another thingy. And here we go. Hello. Have you had a moment to look into that little <clears throat> opportunity I told you about on Roseway? No. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess we have to do that before we do Any anything time, else. Sweetheart, you know where to find me. All right. So I guess we're gonna go to Roseway. I guess we're gonna go to Roseway. Um. Yeah, let's uh let's activate this side quest and let's get back to this ship. And we will take off. I honestly have no idea what to expect at Roseway. I've actually never oh, been there before. Your face is a site for sore ocular processors, Captain. Or rather, your headgear is. I guess I am wearing headgear, aren't I? I just don't have it displayed. Alright. Uh, am I crazy, or is Roseway not here? I don't... Oh. Oh! Terra 2. Oh! Oh! So this is... Oh! Right, this is where we started. Edgewater. But apparently there's a whole other place on the planet. Apparently it's orbit above Roseway, Captain. Yeah. Okay, well we're back here again. Uh, I wonder how different the terrain is gonna be from Edgewater. It's the same planet. It's the same planet. Word, Captain? Uh okay, hello. This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Yeah, that's how that's how the fun begins, right? 
Um, oh, and now I have dumb options. I have dumb options because then I got that concussion. I forgot about that. So I accidentally took a... I accidentally took a... Uh, what did they call it? A flaw? Because uh, I because I got hit in the head too many times. Now I have a permanent concussion and it like actually fucked up my intelligence. I don't know if I want to actually say that though. <laughs> Stupid. Um, do we know anything about who sent the call? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. Uh, why wouldn't they just call for corporate reinforcements? With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. It doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck up. Fair enough. Could be a trap. I'm counting on it. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Yep. I agrar. I fucking agrar. All right, let's go. Roseway landing pad. We're gonna take the ladies with us again. That poor guy, the poor guy I think is coming along with us. He just gets stuck on this ship all the time. <laughs> okay, so this was an Auntie Cleo's no thing. Not that I'm complaining. This was an Auntie Cleo's outpost, so it's gonna be a little bit different, I feel like, from uh from the other place. What was the other company's name again? Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice. Let's use a terminal. What's going on? Uh, insert Captain's Identification Cartridge to initiate remote landing. Huh. Better than nature. Really? Really? Okay. Alright. Well, let's go see what this is all about then. Let's go see what this is all about. What do we got going on down here? Oh, we got some vending machines. Anything good? Anything Gucci? So that's better than nature, better than, uh... <laughs> Stupid, I hate these jingles, they're the worst. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, nothing really jumping out at me. I will definitely take free shit. I will take all the free shit. Crash back here. I find something. Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. Can we get over there? No, we need to go around. Got some lock picks. Get those lock picks. And I bet you anything, there's gonna be like something behind the landing pad or whatever. Surely, surely that's the case. Yep. What did I say, chat? What did I say? Of course it wasn't really anything all that great. But it was something. Back here. Can I... That's an invisible wall. Gotta be, right? Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's go sexploring and see what's gonna be waiting for us. There's definitely gonna be an ambush of some type. I'm counting on it. Hopefully we're powerful enough to rectally wreck anything waiting for us, though. Oh, I did notice my companions here might be able to get a perk, right? Yeah, they can. I guess I should go ahead and invest that, huh? So she's mostly ranged, so I think it, we're gonna boost her range damage there. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Apply. In Parvati, Parvati, what's Parvati gonna do? I feel like I, I want her to last a little bit longer in the field, so I'm gonna up her armor rating. Hopefully that will help protect her a little bit, especially with her being melee. Um. I think it helps a lot. What was that? Captain, something bit them. Something with more teeth than is strictly necessary. My. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna find out. But oh wait, what? Oh, y'all see that? 
It, oh, it's sparking. There's something sparking over here. Oh, look at that. Look at the size of that thing. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my god, that thing's monstrous. Not the first time today I've said that. Alright, we're gonna go say hello. We're gonna go say hello. Hello! Come here, please. Man, this thing can take a lot of hits. Oh my goodness, that was uh. <laughs> my uh, my shock stick didn't seem to shock them very much. It must not be as big as I thought it was. Maybe they're actually immune to shocking, right? Because that was that was way more intense than it needed to be. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. <laughs> oh God. All right, anyway. Dad, I'm writing this on the odds that you found your way back here. I'm sorry I wasn't here to see you. They're moving us out of town, all of us. I don't know where we're going. Hoping that wherever it is, we they've got a lab as nice as Roseways. We're doing some good work, real science for once. I don't know why they're moving us, and I don't know when we'll see each other again. And Dad, do me a favor and burn this journal. I'm not allowed to even mention the name Roseway. As far as corporate's concerned, this town never existed. I don't want to... I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, so I bet... I wonder if those things are like genetically engineered bullshit. Probably like genetically engineered bullshit, right? I'm gonna sleep, maybe rest up. There we go. Very much. That scientist is missing his head. That scientist is off his rocker. Alright. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that like these creatures are like genetically engineered and that's what they're doing here is like some secret bullshit. Calling it now. Fucking calling it now. Can I get in here? Is this a thing? It is a thing, but I can't quite get in there. Is there maybe another way in? No. No, there's not. Alright, well, fair enough. I guess we won't be going in there then. They left their own outside. Was it that bad? Better than nature. I gotta say, their jingle sucks balls. Spacer's Choice definitely has the better jingle, I gotta say. <laughs> I just yell through the door, your jingle sucks balls! Just saying. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. All right, let's see if we can uh, see what's going on in here. I thought I might be able to use the intercom and talk to somebody, but I guess not. Oh! Okay, so it looks like there are people left alive in here. How about that? Gonna be looting corpses, don't mind me. Totally ethical. Totally ethical fun times. Hello? Hello? I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. What happened here? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Okay. Uh, you said the raps broke loose? Did you have them caged up? Um, forget I said anything about that. Ah, uh, knew it. I fucking called it, chat. 
I fucking called it. All right. Uh, what can you tell me about them? Wish they tasted like sissy pig. Them's good eating. Thanks. That's helpful. Actually, what do they taste like? Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Anything else you'd like to know? <laughs> okay. It tastes like woolly cow's ass then. All right. Did you send a distress call? Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. What? Why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told. And I was told not to do such. Hmm. I'm gonna take a look around. Oh, before I forget. Antique Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice petals. <laughs> okay. I just, oh, I, I accidentally stole that. Okay, apparently things here are like owned and I probably shouldn't be like taking everything that's, taking everything that's not nailed down. Like, oh, hello. You're a person, I can't take you. Uh, yeah, let's see. Here's the comms. Let's see what's going on here. Hello, you are Anton. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? No, did you send the distress call? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Really? Under control? Not from where I'm standing. What are you hiding? I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Mm-hmm. But why cancel the distress call? My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. Uh-huh. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Tell me what you're actually doing here or I will let them know myself. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I only have a dumb option. No, chat. <laughs> dental gel, yes, I see. A very important work. Um, what's dental gel? Toothpaste. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? <gasps> no. Please do. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. You can couch it however you like. It's still just toothpaste. Uh, diet toothpaste. Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet. I feel like toothpaste. diet toothpaste needs to be an actual thing, right? What do you need from me? Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs, and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Hmm. Remove the Cretans, retrieve the research. Check. Uh. You want I should handle your... Uh, this must be a typo, right? You want I should handle your Raptodon problem? What? Yes, but don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. Hmm. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. Who's Jameson? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. <laughs> uh, I'll find him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. 
Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. I don't believe their lives mean nothing more to you than paperwork. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. Mm-hmm. What should I mistake it for? Compassion? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. <laughs> I think I'm going to be a dick. Just wanted to hear you admit that you're a heartless bastard. Thanks. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. It sounds like he's trying to convince himself, honestly. Just keep telling yourself that. I don't think he's gonna like me very much. I don't think that he and I are gonna get along very well at all. <laughs> Alright, so there's that, and there's also this. Yeah, Anton's research sounds like it'd be valuable to Gladys, right? That's what we need to do for sure. Uh, eliminate the outlaws. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do here. We got a lot of stuff to do here. And then there was also the cleaning machine. We might be able to do this one first, maybe? Let's see, where do we go for this one? That one's outside, too. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons and comment down below. I would very much appreciate it. Doing so actually helps other people find the channel and helps the channel grow, so it would really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.